first of all, let me uh, congratulate the organizers on the theme. This year is particularly um, a very important one. Uh, the Universal Declaration is 70 years old. We also see that the Declaration on Human Rights Defenders is 20 years old. Gandhi is 25 years old and the protocol on the rights of women in Africa is 15 years old. And uh, all these four issues have been carved together to form the theme of this conference. And uh, it is particularly of interest to all human rights defenders. And I, I must confess that um, the papers that were presented were very relevant, the themes were very relevant, and I am very happy to be here to participate in, in, in this conference. It's twofold. Natu uh, national human rights institutions in themselves are also perceived as human rights defenders. But they should also be able to protect other human rights defenders in their countries, in their regions. And when I say that, I mean they should be able to provide safety nets for these human rights defenders. And they should be able to work with them to understand that they, as national human rights institutions, have uh, a legislative backing, which is not present for the CSOs. So the need for CSOs and um, national human rights institutions to work together to recognize each other's roles and to be supportive, have a mutual uh, understanding. National human rights institutions are the bridge between CSOs and governments and between the, the national and the international. So you find out that where our civil society also does some of this work, it is essential that national human rights institutions get that um, situated in, in, in the realm of things. To achieve their roles, I believe uh, national human rights institutions need to be independent and need to be established according to the Paris principles. Uh, they would need to um, ensure that uh, they, are, they collaborate with all partners because they are, have a national um, mandate. The, and when I say all partners, all human rights defenders, I am talking about parliamentarians, I am talking about CSOs, I'm talking about the media, I'm talking about trade unionists, I'm talking about professionals like lawyers and, and uh, teachers and everybody else. So you find that it's, it's very broad when you talk about civil society, it's very fluid and you are referring to a wide spectrum of, of, of people. And the other thing is um, they need funding. They need to be supported. And many times the problem is, okay, the government is giving them money. And because the government is giving them money, uh, they are likely to be less ind independent. But uh, allow me to call on our different partners to recognize the peculiar role of national human rights institutions and to provide the much needed support that will help them to be independent.